I hope others will join later. Let us begin. Okay, let me play the stanza. Nathahetu Naparasahetu Naputamiche Nathanam Narathan Naicheya Adhamena Samidhi Matano Sasileva Panyava Dhammi Kusya Again Nathahetu Naparasahetu Na putta miche na dhanam na rattham Na icheya adham me na samidhi matano Sasileva panyava dhammi kusya Again, I listen to it three times. Na atta hetu, na paras hetu, na putta miche, na dhanam, na rattham. Na icheya, adham me, na samidhi matano, Sasileva Panyava Dhammi Kusya. Okay, now I recite it in my voice, line by line, and then you repeat after me. Na Attahetu Na Parasahetu Na hatta etu na parese etu na putta mitche na dhanang na rattang na putta mitche na dhanang na rattanam na itche adhamme na samendhi matno na itche Chena dhamme na samicche matano. Sasilava panyava dhamme kosiya. Nasilava panchava dhamme kosiya. Again, na attahetu na parasahetu. Na attahetu. Tahetu na parasahetu na putta mitche na dhanang na rattang na putta mitche na dhanam na rattanam na dhanang na rattang rattang okay na Cheya adhamme na samiddhi matano. Nai cheya dhamme na samiddhi matano. Nai cheya adhamme na. Nai cheya adhamme na. Samiddhi matano. Samiddhi matano. Sasilava panyava dhamme kosiya. Nasilava Pannava Dhammi Kosiya. Okay. Let me recite two lines by two lines. It's, it's a long stanza. I have to hold my breath. Nathahetu Naparasahetu Naputamiche Nadhanang Naradhang Na achaye tu, na parechaye tu, na putam icha na dhanam na ratam. Na icheya adhamme na samiddhi 
ಸಂಸ್ಥನೋ ಸಶೀಲವ ಪಂಜವ ಧಮ್ಮಿ ಕೋಶಿಯ ನಾಚಯ ಅಧಮ್ಮೇನ ಸಮೀಚಿ ಅತ್ತನೋ ನಾಶೀಲವ ಪನ್ನವ ಧಮ್ಮಿ ಕೋಶಿಯ ಗುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಲಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನ ಅತ್ತ ಹೇತು ನ ಪರಸ ಹೇತು ನ ಪುತ್ತಮಿಚ್ಛೇನ ಧನಂ ನ ರಕ್ತಂ ನ ಇಚ್ಛೇಯ ಅಧಮ್ಮೇನ ಸಮಿದ್ಧಿ ಮತ್ತನೋ ಓಕೆ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ನ ನಾಟ್ ಅತ್ತೇತು ಓ ವನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸೇಕ್ ಪರಸ್ ಹೇತು ನಾಟ್ ಫೋ ಎನದ ಸೇಕ್ ಪುತ್ತಂ ಚೈಲ್ ಇಚ್ಛೆ desiring dhanam riches pratham a kingdom na ichchaya he should not desire adhammena through corruption samidhin a success attano his silava virtues ಪಾಣ್ಯವ ವಿಷ್ಣಂ ಧಮ್ಮಿಕೋ ರಾಯಚಸ್ ಸಿಯೋ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೇಕ್ ಅದ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೇಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸೈರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಓರ್ ಅ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಕರಪ್ಷನ್ he should be both virtuous and wise and righteous that means a wise person not for his for the sake of him no for the sake of others no not for gaining children not for gaining wealth does not do wrong things and he does not do anything wrong for this reasons and whatever he gains he gains with right the correct samma ajiv samma ajiv noble four part fourth step samma dhiti samma sankap samma vacha samma kamanta is the four and five fifth state is samma ajiva so his livelihood is uh, done correctly sincerely honestly that is the meaning now let us see the the story behind when you listen to the story the the meaning of this would be much clearer in savatri there was a lay person follower of the buddha they were called upasaka in pali upasaka and he was righteous person so after some times he had a desire to to become a monk and uh, he was holding for some times one day when his wife was in good mood after eating his their dinner he called his wife dear i have been thinking of becoming a monk for a long time uh and i like to become a monk then wife said 
Wait a minute. Our child is very, very tiny. Let him grow uh, my uh, eye uh, my, un until I deliver. The baby is in my tummy, in my womb. Wait until I deliver. Okay, then uh, he, she delivered the baby and uh, then one day uh, she said, uh, he said, uh, she, he listened to her and said, uh, and when the child uh, was born, he said, dear, I have this idea to become a monk. I must go and become a monk. Then she said, wait, wait until this child start walking. Uh, and then you can go. Now it is too tiny. It is difficult for me to take care of without you. Then he gave up his idea and stayed with her. Then after some time, when the child began to walk, he said, uh, now, now child is walking, I must go and become a monk. Then she said, wait a minute, let this child grow up and when he stands on his own feet, then you can go. Then uh, one day he thought, if I go on asking her, she will give me more reasons, asking me to stay here until I is married and have grandchildren and so forth and so on. Uh, so, waiting, 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 I will grow older, and when I'm older, I cannot do mon monastic work, uh, practice meditation and so forth. So, <coughs> I don't need to wait that long. This is uh, uh, too much. Uh, so, I want to go. I want to go and become a monk and end samsaric suffering. And I must end my suffering, and uh, she cannot end my suffering. You can end your suffering, I cannot end your suffering. Uh, so he thought, oh, now I must go and become a monk. So he went to the monastery, asked the Buddha to make him a monk. He, he ordered him, he became a monk. And very soon, since he was so enthusiastic, uh, he practiced meditation, practice, practice, and sure enough, he attained enlightenment, full enlightenment. Then one day, he thought, uh, let me go and see my uh, ex-wife and uh, child. Then he went to uh, the uh, went to his family, uh, and then he met his uh, son. Now his son is uh, a little bigger, maybe a teenager. Then he taught him Dhamma. Then uh, said. Uh, my son, don't wait too long. You are young, you can do meditation and so forth, and don't wait too long. Uh, so he also listened to him and became a monk. After some time, the wife thought, well, I have nobody here to let, take care of me. My husband became a monk. My son became a monk. Why not I go and become a nun? So she went and uh, 
uh, he gave up everything that belonged to the family, went and entered a nunnery and became a nun. Then one day, now parents and the child, all uh, monks and nuns. Then one day, uh, monks, normally when these sort of things happen, they get together and discuss in their, after their meals and so forth, they were discussing how this whole family became monastic. Then Buddha went there and uh, asked them, the monks, uh, what was your topic of today's discussion. Then they said this, how this family became monks and nuns. At that time, Buddha said, this is a very wise thing, and decided this sensor. Na attahetu na parasahetu. Na putta mikshena dhanangarata. So for the sake of one, one does not do wrong thing, no, for the sake of others, one does no, should not do wrong things. No, for the sake of children, one should do wrong things. No, for the sake of wealth, one should do wrong things. No, for the sake of the country, one should not do wrong things. Even for the country, country is not very big for him in the face of doing good things. And therefore, the wise person give up all this and, and become uh, uh, begin to follow uh, the path. Uh, parents, children, the country, friends, relatives, and so forth. If one were to look out all of them and then wait until all of them complete, uh, they should not wait. Go as soon as you decide to do it, uh, go and do it. So it is said sometimes, wise person give up wealth for the sake of limbs, one's own limbs, hands, legs, and so forth. And then one should know, one should give up even the limbs for the sake of life, to protect life. But somebody who wants to protect the Dhamma, give up wealth, life, the parts of the body, and practice dharma for this at, at the expense of all of them. Because liberating from samsara is much more important than anything else. So that is what the wise person does. And uh, therefore this stanza also is very important stanza to remember. Now, this is the story, short but meaningful. So let us uh, try to remember the story and we follow the same method as uh, before. Uh, we recite the stanza. Let me make this bank recite it and listen to it very carefully. And when I recite it, Listen very carefully and repeat it, and then I ask you to recite. You please don't hesitate to recite. Okay, listen to it. Nata he tu, na paras he tu, na putta miche na dhanam na Naichaya 
धम्मेन समिधिमत्तनो सशीलवा पंचवा धम्मिको सिया अगेन लेसन देख न अत्ये तो न परस्ये तो न पुत्तमिच्छे न धनं न रक्तं न इच्छे अधमे न समिधि मत्तनो सशीलवा पंचवा धमिको सिया ओके नाउ यू कैन सी इन द स्टेंस आ न पुत्त मिच्छे विषय पुत्त मिच्छे इट आई ब्रेक देम दिस वर्ड इनटू टू पुत्तं इच्छे इच्छे मिस डिसाइरिंग देन समेधिंग अत्तनो जस्टन सा वे यूज अत्तनो वे समेधिंग एंड कोर समेधि मत्तनो सो दैट इस आई हैव आई हैव ब्रोकन These are the separate words. Okay, repeat after me. Na athe tu na parashe tu. Na athe tu na parashe tu. Na putta mitche na dhanang na radang. Na putta mit. चेन धनम अरथम नैचेय अधम मेन समिधि मत्तनो नैचेय धम मेन समिचि मत्तनो सो सीलवा पंचवा धमिकोसिया न सीलवा पन्नवा धमिकोसिया ओके Line by line, two line by two, two lines. Na athe tu, na parashe tu, na bhutamiche, na dhanang na ratang. Na athe tu, na parashe tu, na bhutamiche, na dhanang na ratang. न इच्छे अधमे न समिधि मत्तनो स सीलवा पंचवा धमिकोसिया न इच्छे अधमे न समिधि मत्तनो स न सीलवा पंचवा धमिकोसिया ओके वंस अगेन यू लिसन टू दिस मां कैन देन ओनली आई प्ले ओनली वंस न हे तो न परस हे तो न पुत्तमिचे न धनं न रात्तं न इच्छे अधमे न समिधि मत्तनो सशीलवा पंचवा धमिकोसिया। Okay, now hero Yuki. Yes. Ah. Na tohetu na parasahetu na puttamiche na danam na lap dam na i. चे अदम में न समिधि मत्तनो ससीरवा पन्यवा दामिकोसिया गुड अतिमा न अत्येतु न परस्येतु न पुत्तमिचे न दनं न रातं न इचे अदम में न समिधि मत्तनो Sasi dawa panyawa dami kosiya. Okay, Chaturi. Na atahe tu na 
ಅರಸಹೆ ತು ನ ಪುತ್ತಮಿಚ್ಛೆ ನ ಧನಂ ನ ರಥಂ ನ ಅಚ್ಚೆಯ ಅಧಮೇನ ಸಂಧಿ ಅಟ್ಟನೋ ಸೀಲವ ಪನ್ಯ ಧಮ್ಮಿ ಕೋಸಿಯ ಓಕೆ ದಿಲೀಪ್ ದಿಹಾಯಿ ದಿಲಾಯಿ ನೇತು ನ ಪರಸ ಹೇತು ನ ಗುತ್ತಿಚ್ಛೆ ನ ದಮನ್ ನ ರಕ್ತ ನೈಚ್ಛೇಯ ಅದ್ದ ಮನೆಯ ಸಂಧಿ ಮನ್ ಅತ್ತನೋ ಸಿಲ್ವ ಪನ್ನವ ದಮ್ಮಿ ಕೋಸಿಯ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ನಿಮಿ ನ ಅತ್ತೇತು ನ ಪರಸ ಹೇತು ನ ಪುತಂ ಇಚ್ಛವ ನ ಪುತಂ ಇಚ್ಛವ ಧನ ನ ರಥಂ ನ ಇಚ್ಛ ಅದಮ್ಮೇನ ಸಮಿತಿ ಮಚ್ಛನೋ ನ ಸೀಲವ ಪನ್ನವ ದಮ್ಮಿ ಕೋಸಿಯ ಓಕೆ ಅತನಾಶು ನ ಪರಸೇತು ನ ಪುತ್ತಮಿಚ್ಛೆ ನ ಧನ ನ ರಥ ನ ಇಚ್ಛೆಯ ಅದಮೇನ ಸಮಿತಿ ಮತ್ತನೋ ಸಿಲ್ಲವ ಪಾಣ್ಯವ ದಿ ಕೋಸಿಯ ಓಕೆ ಗುಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ಯೂ Uh, anyway i think all of you recited and this is very important stanza and it gives us uh, encouragement to practice dhamma in spite of all obstacles all obstacles sometimes someone so uh, family children property country all this sometimes can get in our way and would uh, uh, prevent us from uh, practicing dhamma and in the stanza and the story this man said that i must end my suffering when it comes to liberation we cannot wait for somebody else they can be lagging behind what can we do but when we have interest in the practice of dhamma we go ahead and do it if we, if others are not interested we cannot arouse their interest uh, that must uh, come from within themselves spontaneously it must come within themselves and therefore we don't have to wait we practice dhamma by ourselves now friends uh, that said we like to do meditation today we have a little more time to meditate i think that's good uh, some of you meditated this morning and now let us do meditation this time as well okay all right Okay. Let me recite the same metta recital and then we meditate quietly. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be without exception, weak or strong, long large 
medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds, let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere, neither from anger nor ill will, should anyone wish harm to another, as a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate all the world, a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down or whenever awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision, removing desire for sensual pleasures. One comes never again to birth in the womb. This is the recital we do every time we meditate. And with this metta background, let us practice meditation. Okay.
By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the foolish, may I join always with the wise, until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering, may the fear struck be free from fear, may the grieving be free from grief, so too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, friends, this is the end of today's session. And although number is very, very small, and uh, uh, I'm glad that you came and uh, participated in this, I'm pretty sure you learned something new, and this is uh, very good for your own sake. And as I said, for the sake of anybody else, we should not give up our practice. We do it our practice for ourselves, and we want to end our suffering, and we cannot uh, wait for anybody else. And then, uh, that's all I had to say. Then let me finish my regular metta. May all those who are in hospitals, suffering from various diseases, taken care of by various doctors and nurses and hospital staff, may recover them very soon and return to normal life and practice Dhamma meditation and liberate themselves from samsaric suffering. May all the doctors, nurses, hospital staff who are taking care of these people, even at the risk of their own life, sacrifice their comfort and so on. May they also, in the midst of all this, find time to practice Dhamma, exactly as I mentioned, for the sake of even the patients, we should not give up our practice. And they also practice Dhamma, attain liberation from some sort of suffering. May all those who are uh, grieving over the loss of their loved ones, may they be free from grief, and uh, may they uh, find time to practice Dhamma meditation and liberate themselves of some samsaric suffering. May all those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, above and below, all these ten directions, all of them be well, happy, and peaceful, liberate from samsari suffering. With the thought of metta, let me end this session, and I hope to see you next week. Okay? Thank you, Bhante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, thank you. Sadhu, sadhu. I think Nicholas and Dhamma, I forgot you. Yeah to ask you to recite only yeah. when everything was over I saw your name Pante Dhamma and your name anyway now it is too late <laughs> so we do it next time okay okay, okay.